Amplitronic. Listen to the difference. Hi, my name's Rob. I'm a system design engineer here at Amplitronic. In this video, I just want to show you some of the latest features in the Loopworks Measure app to set up and commission one of the C-Series amplifiers. The amplifier we'll use today is a C52N. For a more comprehensive guide of the commissioning process, please search our YouTube channel for how to commission a hearing loop. To start with, we will look at how to connect the amplifier via loop link to make the process a little easier and more automated. Firstly, make sure the amplifier is connected to the same network as the device you are using with the app. Here I am connected to our Ampatronic office network, but you could do this with a portable router and access point if network infrastructure is not available. To connect, we need to make sure loop link is enabled and we need to obtain the IP address from the amplifier. The IP of the amplifier will show up as it boots but we can also access it from the settings menu. We then input this to the loop link page and choose to connect. Once connected, you'll need to select enter credentials to log into the amplifier. Usernames and default passwords are provided in the handbook. This will allow settings that we change in the app to be triggered at the amplifier. If you're unsure about how to set up a project and test points, then please see the commissioning tutorial video. For now, I will jump straight to the first step of the commissioning test. Background noise. In order to test background noise, you need the outputs of the amplifier to be disabled. Instead of manually turning off the amplifier, the app is now configured to disable the loop outputs to allow a background noise test to be carried out. Now on to the field strength test. You will see the current slider. This is an interactive level control which will update the current output settings of the amplifier. You can either select and slide the control or you can type a value between minus 80 and 0 dB. To set the current drive in a more automated way, you can position the receiver at the appropriate measuring height at one of the test points and press the normalize button. This will adjust the current settings to give a 0 dB reading at the current test point. Be sure to check that the other test points fall within the plus to minus 3 dB range. The loop link connection status is also at the bottom right. This will show if you have connection to the amplifier. Green shows a connection is established. Now moving to the frequency response test. You can see the new features for metal loss control. The preset slopes measured in decibel per octave can be selected from the drop-down. Sometimes the metal content in the floor or ceiling construction can cause variable loss across the frequency spectrum. To account for this, you can perform custom MLC. With this, you can select the corner frequency and independently change the loss correction slope for the lower and upper frequency ranges. In this room, I've set the lower frequencies to a 0.5 dB slope and the higher frequencies to a 1 dB slope, around the 1 kHz corner frequency. This has given a flatter frequency response overall, which will improve intelligibility in the system. One more feature to show is the current offset. This is the difference between the channel A and B output. By default it will be 0 dB, but using this control you can fine tune a system or disable one of the channels completely. That concludes the new features in this version of the app. As I said, please see the commissioning tutorial for a more in-depth guide to the full process and download the latest version from the App Store. Thanks for watching. Amplitronic. Listen to the difference.